want it, get it, don't ever give up, you got it, you want to make it, then chase it, no one can stop you, stop you, they're gonna hate you, hate you, but let them hate you, this fine, cause if they stand in your way, then you gotta leave them behind. Yo, what is going on guys? It is Sam R. Burns and look at that. Bilal Marshall is your 2015 Heisman Memorial Trophy winner and Jay Jones comes in third, but Bilal Marshall really wins it by a landslide. And since we ended up with two losses, we're going to be playing in our own stadium uh, for the GoDaddy.com Bowl against Ohio. But just really quick, uh, looking at the top stories, this is our last game of the season, obviously. Uh, you know, a last chance for the seniors to technically play in their stadium again when we weren't really supposed to. So, you'll get the BCS standings. Georgia State moves up to number 10 with their second win of the season over us, 42-21. Obviously, that game is a lot closer than the score indicates. Uh, but, yeah, so there is your final BCS standings heading into bowl week. And now we're going to go ahead and move on to uh, just really quick look at the, the five Heisman Trophy candidates real quick. As I see, Bilal Marshall, I believe that's Brandon Ross. Oh, never mind, I guess we're not doing that. I'm just pulling a fast one. Whatever, we're not doing that. Uh, next, we're going to go ahead and look at the All-Americans for the season. I believe we led the nation in All-Americans. Let's see, Bilal Marshall and Matt Harris both make first-team All-American. And we'll go ahead and see on the defensive side, Lewis and Desmond Lavelle both make first team, as well as both of the Fuller brothers and Kyle Clifford as returner. And Jay Jones, go ahead, he's going to make second team All-American. Um, and I believe we have like one more uh, second teamer. I'm not sure. Nope, we don't. So Jay Jones is our only second team All-American. And then you'll get the first team All-Sun Belt is just dominated by South Alabama players. And there are some Georgia State guys in there, but a lot of South Alabama guys in there, obviously leading the Sun Belt. Uh, probably the uh, most dominant team in the Sun Belt, not necessarily the best. That belongs to Conference Champion Georgia State uh, for the time being. And this will be the last year we are in the Sun Belt, so this is our last game as a Sun Belt Conference team as we go ahead and see the bowl games this season before we get... Ugh, excuse me, I'm doing this early in the morning, so... Uh, but bowl games this season before we go ahead and get into our game against Ohio. Hi everybody, Reese Davis with you, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan, innovation that excites. We are winding our way toward kickoff of the GoDaddy.com Bowl, the opportunity for one of these two teams to close their season on a winning note. Thanks for checking out the pregame show, NCAA College Football Action, coming up next with Brad and Kirk on the call. David and I will see you at halftime. So we're in our home stadium for the GoDaddy.com Bowl, and we're going to start off here on 2nd and 13, handing off to the senior running back, Jay Jones, who gets 11 yards. This is his final game of his career, the senior running back. Now, first down and 10, we would have to end up punting on that drive. And Malik Rogers is going to get the 8-yard reception right there from Darius Vick. That's his first catch of the day. And that brings up a 2nd down and 2, and now under center, handing off to Dasmond Patterson. And he's going to go ahead and get 4 yards right there for the first down. And that would set up this field goal attempt for Ohio, and it would be up. And is it good? Barely. He gets it through the uprights. 3-0 Ohio here with 5.25 remaining. And now Marshall is going to go to work here first and 10. He's going to go on the right sideline, going to find Chaveras Smith for the 15-yard reception. And now third down and 23. Marshall is back to pass. He's going to be looking on the right side, and it is caught right there by Jacob Morris. 26-yard reception for the tight end. And now third down and one. Marshall in the pistol and he is going to be back to pass and he's going to roll to his right and fire on the right side for Jay Jones who's going to get out of bounds after 17 yards on that reception then that is more than enough for a first down and now first down and 10 Marshall is back to pass and he's going to find Matt Harris for the first down 13 yard reception for the junior wide receiver who most likely is going to be back for his senior season he's not that great of a wide receiver so I don't see him declaring for the draft and then Kyle Clifford is going to get the three-yard touchdown reception right there and make it 7-3. to three. 
Jaguars on top. So 244 remaining in the first quarter. And Dasmond Patterson is going to hurdle a guy. And he's going to go on the right side. He's got some room. Dasmond Patterson out across the 50-yard line and taken down after a 31-yard gain. Huge gain right there for the running back. He's up to 38 yards so far. And now first down and 10. Uh, Darius Vick is going to run the play action right here. And he's going to fire on the left side for a win. Who is going to break a tackle and then get the first down? Just or that's not win. That's Wyatt. Whatever. Justin Wyatt's going to get the first down. So first and goal now. Vic is going to go in the end zone and that is a touchdown. He's going to find Ian Dixon for the seven-yard touchdown reception. Makes it 10-7 Ohio. Now third down and seven here on our next drive. Marshall is back to pass. He'll go over the middle for Kyle Clifford on the in route. And that is a first down. 16 yards on that reception for Kyle Clifford. His second catch of the day. And that's going to be the end of the first quarter. Ohio's got a 10-7 lead. It's a pretty competitive ball game. Ohio is a pretty underrated team. They only lost like two games all year. And yeah, so 10-7 is your score. Ohio's looking good, but we have looked pretty good on offense too. Now third down and six. Marshall is back to pass. He'll fire on the right side for Kyle Clifford, who's going to get that first down. Get some tough yards right there. Deion gets 10 yards on the play. His fourth catch of the day. Now second down and seven. Marshall is going to keep this one on the read option, and he is going to be hit after only a three-yard gain, and he would be down on the play. Well, Lau Marshall is injured. We'll get an update on that later. But into the game is senior quarterback Trey Fetner, who is getting a chance to play in his last game as a Jaguar and he'll complete that pass to Matt Harris for 11 yards and now second down and goal here and Fentner is going to hand off to Jay Jones up the middle touchdown Jaguars that is a five yard touchdown run for Jay Jones and that makes it 14-10 Jaguars now second down and five Dasmond Patterson is going to take this one on the left side and he's going to take that guy with the stiff arm for some extra yards an 11 yard gain right there for Dasmond and that was a 57 yards so far now second and ten, Darius Vick, a beautiful pass, and he finds Ian Dixon, who had the touchdown earlier, for 30 yards, and the Jaguars' defense can't stop this Bobcat offense, as Dasmond Patterson is going to take this one up the right side on the pitch, and he's going to get into the end zone, touchdown, Ohio makes it 17-14, as the South Alabama defense continues to struggle, but Fetner's still in the game, and he's going to be back to pass. He's going to find on the right side, that is Matt Harris at about the 40-yard line. That's a 20-yard reception for Harris, his fourth catch of the day. Now first down and 10, and the shotgun is Darius Vick, and he's going to go on the left side, and it's intercepted by Montel Gardner, and there is no one in front of him, and the senior cornerback who had 14 interceptions uh, just two years ago, not, not this year, uh, but last year in year two, is going to take this to the house. His second interception of the year is a pick six right there. Montel Gardner gets into the end zone, makes it 21-17. But here we go. Quick injury update. Bilal Marshall has a dislocated shoulder. He is out for the game. So technically out for the rest of the season as he cannot return to our final game of the season. So it looks like Trey Fentner is going to be leading the charge and handing off to Jay Jones, the running back. He's going to go ahead and get a first down right there. Ten-yard run for Jay Jones. And he is up to 44 yards rushing. Now a third down and goal. Fetner is back to pass. Going over the middle. He finds Javaris Smith who gets into the end zone. Touchdown Jaguars. 18 yards. And that makes it 28-17. And the Jaguars have opened this game up a little bit. But 48 seconds is plenty of time for the Ohio Bobcats. As Darius Vick is going to be back to pass. And he's going to go ahead and find uh, Dasmon Patterson. Who's doing it all. And just breaking tackles. Some terrible tackling right there by the Jaguar defense. That's a 32-yard reception. Now on first and 10 with 38 seconds left, Darius Vick's got a wide open man and he is into the end zone right there for the touchdown and just like that, Ohio is on the board 28 to 24 at the half for South Alabama. Oh, excuse me. But we've looked pretty good in the first half. Obviously our defense has been very bad. But our offense has been pretty good. Um, you know, we don't have our starting quarterback for the rest of the game, so that could end up being a problem. Who knows? We'll see. But Devon Henry, go ahead. Is it, go ahead. Wow. Goes ahead and gets 18 yards right there. And then he is going to go ahead and pass to, I didn't see who that was, but his man is going to go ahead and get the first down. Brian Palermo is going to get that first down. Now on second and 13, Vic is going to hand off to Dasmond Patterson. And he's got some room, and he is going to be taken down after a 17-yard gain. And he ends up setting up this field goal attempt on fourth down and nine for Ohio. 
and we'll see if they can knock it through and it is good so the Jaguars now hold a one point lead now third down and four for Trey Fetner and he is back to pass and he's gonna be rolling to his right nowhere really to go but then he stops and finds an open Jay Jones over the middle for a big gain right there 21 yard reception for the running back and that's gonna set up a first down and ten now on second down in eight, Fetner in the shotgun, man to his right, play action, and he's going to be rolling to his right, no one really open, under pressure, and Kyle Clifford is going to come back across the formation, and is going to get the first down, a 15-yard reception for Kyle Clifford, his eighth of the day, and he eclipses 100 yards receiving. Now first and ten, over the middle is Ryan Anka, and that will set up this long field goal for Logan Gunn, and it is good. So 31-27 now is your score. Jaguars still on top with 315 to go in this third quarter and now Vic is gonna be back to pass He's gonna find Henry right there and some more poor tackling as Devon Henry is gonna go ahead and get 13 yards on the reception And now third down and eight for Ohio in the shotgun is Darius Vic and he's gonna be back to pass And there's a screenplay Dasmon Patterson. There's a flag on the play, but Patterson does not matter He's still gonna get the first down and we'll see the call right here. It is offside So the play will stand and that is gonna be a first down for Ohio Montel Gardner was offside the cornerback and they will decline that penalty just as I expected So that is gonna be a first down for Ohio now first and ten Vic is gonna hand off to Dasmon Patterson And he's got some room on the left side one man to beat breaks a tackle and then he is taken down at the 11 yard line now second down and two they're gonna pitch it to the backup running back and he's going to get into the end zone. Brian Palermo is going to get the three-yard touchdown run. and makes 34-31 Ohio with their first lead in a while. And is now 34-31 heading into the fourth quarter. It's crunch time, and we are very much in this ball game, even with our backup quarterback. So we'll see if he can cap off this game and get us a bowl victory for the second year in a row. Now third and inches. Fetner is going to go over the middle and find Kyle Clifford. He's been having a huge day. Um, receiving so far he is up to 114 yards receiving on nine catches now second and five Trey Fetner is gonna keep this one on the read option he's not really the speedy type so he slides down but that he got some good blocks right there and is gonna go ahead and get that first down so third down and ten Fetner is back to pass and he's gonna try to force it in on the right side and a beautiful catch by Kyle Clifford 18 yards on the catch and that is his tenth of the day now third down and goal Fetner is going to keep this one, and touchdown, Jaguars. Two-yard touchdown run for the backup quarterback, Trey Fetner. Gives the Jaguars back a 38-34 lead. 3.56 remaining now. Darius Vick back to pass. He is going to find Palermo right there, and that is a first down for the Ohio Bobcats. His second catch of the day, and now on first and 15 later in the drive after a false start penalty, under center is Darius Vick. And he is going to be back to pass. And he is going to go deep. And he's got a man. It's Demon Henry. And he is in the end zone untouched. 32-yard reception for Henry. Makes it 41-38 Ohio. Now Fetner back to pass. is going to find Anthony Thompson. The freshman is going to get eight yards right there. And get the first down. His first catch of the day. And now on third and six, Fetner is going to go ahead and find Matt Harris on the right side. A 12-yard reception for Matt Harris. His fifth of the day. Now on first and ten, Fetner back to pass, and he's going to try to force it in, and it is intercepted, and he gets a foot down, a big blow on that turnover, as a minute 57 remains here, and we need a stop, and Dasmon Patterson, he's got a lot of room, no one is going to catch Dasmon, we'll see if he can, no, some terrible angles, and Dasmon Patterson, just like that, is going to go 84 yards for the touchdown, and that is going to be a huge blow in, to our chances to win this game. A minute 24 remaining. Fetner going over the middle and Gore drops it. And that is a turnover. We are only down 10 at that point. Still had a chance. But and they get the ball back. And very next play, Dasmon Patterson is going to get into the end zone. Almost. Not quite, but gets 20 yards. And then on second down and goal, 46 seconds remaining. They'll give it to Dasmon and he is in the end zone for the one-yard touchdown run. And that pretty much puts this ball game away, 55-38. But second down and 10 for Fetner, and he's going to be going deep, and he finds Anthony Thompson, who gets out of bounds. 27-yard reception for the freshman, his second of the day, and now on first and 10. Fetner is going deep for Dejon Funderbunk, and it's a touchdown, but really it's all in vain at this point. Makes it 55-45, and on the ensuing onside kick, we need to get this to have any shot at winning this game. And his kick is, it was a pretty good kick, but Ian Dixon gets it. 
And that is going to be your ball game. Ohio is going to win the GoDaddy.com Bowl 55-45. And just, you know, a poor fourth quarter by us. We didn't close the game like we needed to. And Dasmon Patterson is your player of the game and your player of the game. He had like 240 yards rushing or something. Our defense just wasn't really good enough, and our offense uh, without our starting quarterback wasn't good enough. So we just didn't do quite enough to win this game, obviously. We lose by 10 points. So it's definitely a disappointing way to end the season. We finished 11-3, and still a phenomenal record. Um, it's worse than last year. Last year we finished 12-2, and so we took kind of a step backwards. Um, but Dasmon Patterson gets 237 yards rushing and three touchdowns. So anyways, guys, I hope you did enjoy, and I will see you guys next time. Peace.